It's time now for the latest in business news, and for that we're joined here in the studio by Catherine Bennett. Catherine, you're starting off with the latest action in crypto uh, currency. What's moving markets there? Well, the question is not really what's moving markets, but who's moving them. And the answer to that, of course, is Elon Musk, unsurprisingly. Crypto markets are at this stage more or less pinned to what he says. And this week, he's certainly take them on a bit of a roller coaster. Bitcoin is near its lowest in more than two months and heading for its worst week since February, whereas the joke cryptocurrency Dogecoin has leapt up by a fifth. Now, that's linked to comments that Elon Musk made on Wednesday when he said that Tesla would stop accepting payment in Bitcoin because of environmental concerns. Then on Thursday, he sent Dogecoin sky high with a tweet saying that he was working with developers to improve efficiency. Dogecoin is a cryptocurrency that started its life as a joke. It's based on an online meme. And even as recently as December 2020, Dogecoin was almost worthless. But this year, its value has soared, catapulting it to become the fourth largest cryptocurrency by market cap. Major crypto exchanges are starting to take notice. Coinbase has said that it will start offering trading in Dogecoin within six to eight weeks. Now, Coinbase is the US's number one public cryptocurrency exchange, so that will have a further effect of legitimising the cryptocurrency. Now, with COVID-19 lockdowns easing, people are starting to look ahead to the summer holidays. Uh, Catherine, what is the travel industry predicting about growth this year? Well, Airbnb's chief executive has said that we are facing the travel rebound of the century. Now, the value of bookings through Airbnb has jumped 52%. That's because of holidaymakers paying more for bigger and more isolated properties to get away from the crowds. The company also said that bookings in the UK and France surged after governments announced their plans to ease lockdowns. Well, meanwhile, some American companies are struggling to hire enough workers as social distancing starts to wind down and workplaces get moving again. That's right, and Amazon has said that it will hire an extra 75,000 new employees to cope with rising demand, and they're also offering bonuses to new employees if they've been vaccinated. McDonald's is also offering a pay shift, a pay rise to its staff to try and fill vacant shifts. Andrew Hilliar has this report on the businesses trying to lure people back to the workplace. A hiring spree from one of the world's largest online retailers. Amazon's decision to hire another 75,000 employees comes as demand continues to soar. But it won't be easy getting that many new recruits on the payroll. As the US economy bounces back, analysts say labour is drying up. To lure new staff, the company has recently introduced pay rises and a bonus for employees who get vaccinated. So we're now in an environment where employers are asking themselves the question, do we need to pay more or make other adjustments to bring employees onto our payrolls? And I think that there is going to be more of this in the future where wages are going to increase in many cases because essentially employers have no other choice. Amazon isn't the only company raising pay and conditions to attract new workers. McDonald's has also announced that it will hire an extra 10,000 staff, whilst lifting hourly wages for more than 30,000 workers by around 10% to face off a labour crunch. Those changes won't apply to its franchise restaurants, which account for nearly half of the chain's revenues. But those headline figures hide a grim reality that the US comeback is far from finished. Nearly 10 million Americans are still unemployed, a far cry from the 5.7 million who were out of work before the start of the pandemic in February last year. Still encouraging signs in the labour market are continuing to emerge. Last week, the number of Americans seeking unemployment benefits fell to below 500,000, a new pandemic low. That was Andrew Hilliar reporting there. Now, Catherine, take us through what's been happening in the stock markets at the moment. Well, Europe this morning opening on a high with the FTSE and the CAC 40 up half a percent and the DAX climbing 0.62 percent. US stocks bounced overnight and that's given Asian markets a spring in their step as well. The Nikkei jumped two and a third of a percent. The Shanghai Composite was also up one and a half percent and the Kospi advanced over one percent. And lastly from you, Catherine, looking back on a story that made uh, headlines earlier this week, a cyber attack on the US's top 
fuel a pipeline that caused, of course, petrol shortages and a spike in uh, petrol prices. What is the latest there? Well, it's now come to light that uh, Colonial Pipeline, the operator of that pipeline, paid around 75 Bitcoin. That's nearly $5 million in ransom to the hackers within hours of the attack. The hackers then gave them a decrypting tool so that, so that they could get their computer network back online. And that solved the problem, but it perhaps creates a new one. It could encourage other criminal groups to launch cyber attacks in order to get a hefty payout. Okay, Catherine Bennett with the uh, latest business news. Thank you very much.